My name is Kevin Smith, and I'm an Agile Applications Engineer for Oscilloscopes. Today, I'm going to show you how to measure the area under the curve uh, with two different methods. Um, I've already set up the scope in uh, high-res mode and captured a, uh, a pulse, um, and it's uh, single-triggered it. I've put it into high-res mode. Um, so, for example, in this case, I might want to measure the uh, full width, half max, okay? Um, and so, uh, <clears throat> certainly you can just do a, a simple um, turn on uh, measurement and, of course, defaults uh, those uh, to frequency and peak to peak, but I don't want that, so I'm going to clear those out. What I am going to do is I'm going to select um, the uh, right away, area under the curve measurement, wherever that might be. Here it is, area area full screen. Now this is the full screen measurement. You click add measurement and um, I really don't want the full screen. What I do want is I want uh, full width half max. So one way to achieve this, if I go to uh, settings um, on the measurement, so measure to, whoops, measure to settings, okay, I can use the measurement window auto select and gate it to the main or the zoom window but I do have to turn on the zoom window first before I get that option. Okay, so I can go to zoom. All right, and now I'm just getting this itty bitty area, and you can see it's rather significantly smaller number. And so what I really want to do is I want to use the uh, larger time control knob to increase this to, to full width, to half width, or um, and then use the smaller guy, smaller knob, to uh, center it. So. Um, I'm going to use the hard knobs because it's a little bit easier than using the soft GUI. And what I want to do is I want to expand. Oops, going the wrong way. There we go. Expand the window. Zoom it in. And that's that's maybe a, a good enough measurement. Might not be. All right, I can see that I've got um, two uh, about two and a half, two point four four um, <clears throat> millivolt seconds. All right. Um, if I was doing um, you know, if I had a power transducer, I could I could rescale that. But um, if I press the larger time scale knob in once, okay, um, that puts it into vernier mode, and I can even then maybe um, get it a little bit finer. Now, if you're doing like say for example a sine wave, okay, so now I've got I, I've got 2.24 instead of 2.44. Uh, but if you're doing a sine wave, that's not um, that's not you know you're not getting the exact cycle. You know, this method might not work for you, okay? Um, um, so the other way to do this, all right, is instead of using the um, uh, measure, uh, the area measurement, okay, I'm just going to press the measure key uh, uh, twice to basically turn those off, turn off the zoom window. Okay, now what I'm going to want to do is select math, and I want to select um, math operator, to be integrate, um, select that to be integrate, integrate, there we go, whoops, and I want to select channel 4. Okay, so now that's the whole, that's, that's the whole waveform, and if I put cursors on, this is this. The cursors now represent. Um, if I put them on the, uh, I want to set them to track waveform, and if I set them to the math function, they basically represent the area under the curve. Okay, and so with the cursor um, knob, okay, um, so I've got it set to track. Um, I don't want to set both of these to uh, the math function. Cursors, okay. There we go. They're on. And I'm going to do um, uh, uh, move X1. There we go. Using the hard knob instead of the soft knob. I can pretty much put them, you know, wherever I want. Okay. And it follows the math function. Pushing the knob in again, and then turning the knob. Gets me to X2, pushing it in again, selects X2, and now I can put it at the approximate full width half max. And it's a much finer measurement.
Okay, so I got 2.18. Now, the other thing that can, you know, picking the half max might be a little tricky. There's no full width, uh, there's no uh, half max measurement. But what we can do is we can use the channel 4 scale to, to just pick out uh, uh, the grids. So, for example, I'm going to press, press channel 4 in to get fine control, okay? And um, I'm going to move him up just a little bit and scale him down right there. Now, I can clearly see that um, uh, the, the center graticule, uh, heart, uh, the vertical line, this, this line right here, clearly, very carefully represents um, the, the, uh, the half width. All right, and so uh, I might want, looks like I might want to bring this this little guy in just a little bit. I can use the cursors to do that. X one, push him in, and bring him in just a touch. And there we go. That's right about there. I would say that's my full width half max, two point one eight three eight millivolt seconds. And um, that's how we can do that. Thank you for your attention.